Check this out. Let me know what you think about this. I don't care what the f we have to go through. I'm going to go through it with you. We're going to go through it together. I don't. Listen. If we got to if, if you got to stay with me and find a job. We're going to we're going to sit all night going through applications together. I will not let you fall. You understand me? I am never going to let you fall. I'm always going to have your back. I'm always going to make sure you have it. Look at me. You're not broke. If you can sit there and put, put food on the table, then you're fine. You got to The first thing I want to say is this. It's not easy being a man. It's a lot of different things that we go through by ourselves, you know, as men, whether we're in a relationship or being single, right? And a lot of times a man can be in a relationship with a woman, married to a woman or whatever, and still feel alone because we as men are expected to hold everything on our shoulders. And sometimes we falter. Sometimes we make mistakes. Sometimes we take a risk and something blows up in our face. But overall, does that woman that we're with believe in us? In this particular situation, this woman genuinely believes in this man. And that is one of the most important feelings that we men need from a woman. See, sometimes a woman can not really care about the man being great. She just wants him to have some money, right? And that is the biggest difference. If a man loses his job, you could tell by the tone of a woman's voice on whether she believes in him or does she only want something out of him. And that is one of the biggest issues that men deal with. Do we really have a woman that believes in us or do we have a woman that is just enjoying the fruits of our labor? Because sadly, a woman is just enjoying, you know, a guy having a great job. And if something happens and that job is gone, she starts looking at the guy like, well, what is wrong with you? Why don't you just find another job? No. Sometimes it takes some time for us to get back up and we need the woman that we're with, the woman that we love to believe in us and not just what is wrong with you? Why don't you just do this? Why don't you just do that? Or there's another part or she just starts doing things for us like we're a little boy or something. Some relationships, a woman doesn't really expect or believe that the man is actually going to get back on his feet and she starts doing everything for him. She takes his resume and just does it for him. This particular woman in this video, she's like, we're going to stay up all night and do resumes together. She doesn't take him out of the, I would say, hierarchy. He's upset. He's scared. But she still looks at him and says, you have us. She didn't say, I got us. I'll take over. And, you know, no, she said, you still got us. So it's a lot of little things that she said that really shows me that she believes in him and wants him to be the leader of the household instead of her taking over as a leader or never seeing him as a leader in the first place. See, there's a huge difference between supporting a man and being supportive of a man. See, supporting a man is... You paying everything, you paying his bills, you paying your bills, you keeping both of your heads above water and you don't really have the expectation that he's going to come up and take over and be the head of household. No, you're just letting a man live in your house and you're happy to have a man. But being supportive of a man and being a man's support system, you're believing in him and knowing that at some point, even though he made a mistake or he fell off for a second, you believe in his abilities to lead you, lead your family, provide and protect like he did before because we make mistakes, we mess up. 
So be a man's support system, but don't turn around and just start supporting a man and getting used to him not being able to do certain things because that actually, one, is enabling a man and making a man feel like you don't really believe in him sometimes is detrimental to him, to you, and if y'all got kids, to the kids. Because your kids, you got to always remember this, are always watching you and their dad. And if you paying all the bills for years and he's just sitting around on a couch, not having to do anything or whatever, just looking at ESPN or whatever, and you are okay with that, your kids are going to grow up thinking that they don't need a man or the males are going to grow up thinking that they don't have to be a man. So it's important to know the difference between supporting a man, which is not necessarily good, versus being supportive of a man and believing in his abilities so at some particular point after he falls, he can actually take the reins of the household and become the provider and the protector that the rest of the family actually needs. The need is different. A woman that's just having a dude living with her, she doesn't really need him. She just has a roommate. She has a partner. It's a partnership. But when you have a man that you look at like, yo, you are my king. That's a different type of need right there. That's a different type of man right there. And this is what I see with her. He made some mistakes. He's down on himself. Even with her body language, she's like this. I still see you as my king. She didn't say that, but her mannerisms said she sees him as somebody greater than where he is now. She never took out the us. She never took out believing in him. What do y'all think? Let me know what y'all think in the comments.